hello to all my students and to all my parents, uh, uh, both honors Kim and Kim too, for the 2020-2021 school year. This is Mr. Keister here with a, uh, a, a short and hopefully sweet uh, special video that I wanted to um, send to all of you today. Today is uh, actually Tuesday, uh, November 3rd, 2020, and I wanted to inform you that um, uh, yesterday after school uh, that I uh, met with Mr. Marshall and uh, Mrs. Grigsby and uh, Mr. Solomon uh, to tell them that I have decided uh, to retire at the end of the first semester. Uh, I know that uh, many of you and your parents, whom I've had siblings, older siblings before, or I have had in Chem 1 uh, previously, or Honors Chem previously, uh, or Chem 2 previously, that um, I had actually planned to retire at the end of last year. Uh, but uh, due to COVID-19 and, and uh, the way the year ended up and uh, we were trying to sell our home and things just weren't going, things just weren't happening the way they needed to be for that to happen. So I went into this year uh, knowing that it was possible that this could happen, that it also would have been just as possible that I had finished out the, uh, the entire year and retired in May. Uh, but as things turned out, uh, we were able to uh, finally, after a very long process, we were able to... Uh, uh, sell our home and uh, and so we have uh, temporarily moved in with our daughter and her family uh, here in Lafayette which is another story in and of itself uh, but anyway um, and uh, based on uh, our temporary living arrangements and our you know financial considerations and all and COVID-19 especially has played a big role in our decision as well uh, that we have decided to go ahead and retire at the end of the year or the end of December and move to our uh, our new home in Branson, Missouri. So in doing so, there are several things I want you to realize. Uh, number one, things are going to continue on uh, for the rest of this semester uh, with me, uh, just as if uh, we're gonna be here not only for the rest of this entire year, but for many years to come. Uh, I'm not gonna sit on my, uh, on my chair and uh, twiddle my thumbs and uh, uh, have you guys uh, get a subpar education uh, between now and the end of the semester. That is not going to happen, I can assure you. Um, my classes are dual credit. Uh, I have high standards, uh, both personal high standards and uh, high standards from Ivy Tech in regards to the education that you guys receive. And I continue, and I continue, I, I plan, uh, and I will uh, continue on at the same level uh, that we ha that you all have experienced up to this point. Secondly, I want you to understand that uh, this has been in the works uh, for several years, and as I have planned for my retirement, and talked to our department chair, Mr. Shaw, and also to Mr. Powell, uh, who are not only both my colleagues. Uh, but they're my dear friends. Uh, I have uh, worked exclusively in preparing, mentoring uh, Mr. Jackson uh, to take over for me. Mr. Jackson has been here four years. Some of you uh, already have had him as a teacher in Kim One or know of him through a tennis or maybe other activities that he is involved with here at Harrison. I can assure you 100%, without a doubt, that not one thing is going to change with Mr. Jackson at the helm here uh, instead of me. Uh, I, he is an outstanding teacher, as many of you probably already know. Uh, he and I come from the same mold. We think alike. We teach alike. We relate to our students alike. And uh, if I could have, if I had the top, 10 people I could have possibly chosen to replace me uh, as I retire. I don't care who the other nine people would have been. Mr. Jackson would have been my one and only choice regardless. Um, I have no doubt whatsoever that when he steps in here, 
that he is going to continue on uh, the same way as I would have. I have absolutely no doubt about that whatsoever. He is going to, he has taught my curriculum before. Uh, again, that was to prepare him for this moment, whenever it might have come. Uh, he knows the curriculum. Uh, he is going to use the same notes, assignments, quizzes, tests, labs, everything that I have created uh, specifically for these dual credit classes. And uh, he will do a fine job uh, as your new teacher in both Chem 2 and Honors Chem. Again, so I assure you that things will not change and things will go on as they are right now. One last thing in regards to Mr. Jackson, he is also certified uh, as a dual credit teacher uh, to teach chemistry through Ivy Tech. So your dual credit status uh, for this year is not being compromised either. It, it, and for me to retire, I had to make sure that all my ducks were in a row, so to speak, so that you guys were not affected at all by this, all right? That was very, very important to me. Uh, and in fact, if I hadn't known that things would, wouldn't have uh, happened and uh, laid out moving forward the way they're going to, I probably would have stayed through the end of the year. Uh, but I feel confident, that confident in Mr. Jackson's ability to uh, carry on uh, as if I was here. So uh, having said all that, um, there's not really a whole lot left to say. Um, the last, I try not to get emotional here. The last 25 years for me have been a joy. And my time at Harrison, I can only say if I had known how much I would have loved teaching at Harrison uh, as I do, I would have come here years before I did. I've been here seven years. I wish it had been 17 years or even more. Um, Harrison is a wonderful school uh, with a lot of wonderful people working here. Uh, you guys, my students have been great. Your parents have been supportive uh, throughout my time here. And uh, it has been an extreme pleasure uh, being your teacher. Uh, and I mean that sincerely. So, uh, I think that's about all I can get through. So um, I'm going to send this video to you guys today, this morning, uh, because I wanted you to hear it personally from me uh, rather than through the grapevine or through the rumor mill or from anybody else. And so uh, again, we're gonna carry on uh, through the end of the semester uh, as if I were gonna be here forever. And uh, when you return in January, Mr. Jackson is going to do the same. So until next time, folks, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Keep working hard, students. Stay focused. You're doing a great job so far, and I expect you will continue that. And God bless you all. Take care, everyone. So long.